This is definitely one of those videos that YouTube's algorithm doesn't care much about, but check it. I don't care because I'm here to help at least one person every single video, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. I was having a conversation with a subscriber earlier today on Instagram, and he was letting me know how I've been able to help him through a lot, inspire him, and be very relatable, okay? He was telling me how he watched a video of mine that I filmed, I believe, in 2021 about how my father transcended in 2020 and how I dealt with that situation and how I grew from that. And he also lost his father in 2020, and he was only 16. He was younger than me, and I really felt that, and it inspired me to just continue to do what I do, continue to help people, right? Continue to go. And he was also letting me know how he got out of a three-year relationship out of high school, just like me, and how it was very tough for him, and it's still very tough for him, right? And I was letting him know that you gotta be able to take your pain and turn it into power. You gotta be able to take your pain and turn it into power, right? Because one thing you have to understand, and I had to understand, is that you're not alone in this. And I feel like a lot of the time we're very hard on ourselves and we think like no one can relate to me, right? I'm going through all these things and no one can relate to me, but that's not the case, right? We're all humans sharing this spiritual experience here on earth. And we all experience a lot of the same things just on different levels, different frequencies, right? You're not alone. Whenever you deal with something that's very tough in your life, you can turn that pain into power. When I got out of that three-year relationship in high school, I didn't eat for like the two days after that breakup. Two days after that breakup. And it's funny to look, it's funny to think about that now and look back at that because it's like, you know, I was so young. Like that relationship really wasn't gonna last that long. But at the end of the day, what I did is I started to work on myself. I took that pain and I turned it into a positive, okay? I started to work on myself. I started to read more books. I started to train harder when it came to basketball. I isolated myself. I knew that I had to be better. You have to keep in mind that energy never dies. It just transfers, right? So whenever you deal with pain, you don't wanna just ignore it, right? Because if you ignore it, it's gonna come back. It's not gonna go anywhere, it's gonna come back. So what you have to do is take that pain and fill it with something else, something positive that's gonna be able to help other people. Help other people. You're never gonna deal with a situation that you can't grow from or that you can't you know, feel better about. Whenever you're dealing with some type of pain, always know that there's somebody else out there that is dealing with a similar situation, okay? Whenever you're dealing with pain, always keep in mind that this is not going to last forever. This is temporary, okay? The rain and the storms, are here for us to embrace. I'm at this point in my life now where it's just like, I just enjoy like the rain and the storms. You know what I'm saying? Like I maintain a flow state. Instead, I don't ever get too high. I don't ever get too low. I just maintain that flow state, right? That flow state where I'm just detached from anything that might lower my vibration and I maintain a solid energy, a solid energy, right? Because whenever you deal with something in life, whenever you deal with a situation in life that you feel like is gonna put you back, ask yourself, do I want to stay here? You know what I'm saying? Do I wanna feel this way my whole entire life? And a lot of us don't, we wanna get out of it. You know, we wanna feel better about it. So you should always look at the things that bring you joy and do it more often. He was like, how do, I, how do I stay true to self? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the time for some people, stay true to self isn't really self-explanatory. And I told him, I said, stay true to self is about self-awareness, right? It's about loving thyself, being, being, being yourself, okay? It's about self-awareness. So you have to be aware of the things that bring you joy when you're dealing with tough things. So, so for me, I love to read. So whenever I'm in a tough situation, I feel like I may, you know, my mind is a little bit clouded, I'll read some books. One thing that helps me is training. I'll go train more. One thing that I love to do is spend time in nature. I'll get out in nature more. One, the thing that helps me the most is God, right? The highest, the force. God is always gonna keep me faithful. Cause he asks me, he's like, like prayer for you. Like what is prayer for you? Prayer for me is me practicing my faith and building my relationship with God, right? Because when you pray, you're not in fear. You're not sitting here thinking that, you know, things are going to go wrong for you. No, you're practicing your faith. You're building your relationship with God. You're spending time with God. And that's something that you should continue to do. So whenever you're in a tough situation that you think you can't get out of, just know that it is temporary. It won't be like that forever. And you don't have to allow it to be that way forever. Because we don't want to sit in that energy, okay? That pain could be the thing that takes you to exactly where you need to be, right? In life, there's gonna be the peaks 
there's gonna be the valleys, and we're here to embrace it all. And just know that you're not the only one that's dealing with a tough situation, and there's other people out there that are rooting for you. Hey, I'm rooting for you.